All right, so I'm going to do this in VirtualBox. I have a virtual machine here set up. Let me go ahead and do Ctrl F. And the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to open the file application, the file manager. And sharing files and folders in Ubuntu desktop is very, is very simple and straightforward. And let's say, for example, uh, that I wanted to share my documents and directory. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on it. And then I'm going to click on local network share. All right, so now I got this dialog box and I'm going to check on share this folder. All right, so this is prompting me to install a service. I'm going to click on install service. And uh, what we're going to do here, we're going to actually what Ubuntu is going to do in the background is going to install Samba, which is a file server application. You can expand here where it says description and read uh, on, on, on what the package is and where you are installing in the computer. But I'm going to go ahead and click install. I'm going to enter my password. And right now, uh, Samba is installing in the background. You can expand on details and see what Ubuntu is doing. And that usually helps. All right, so once the installation is complete, um, you need to allow user access over the network. And you have basically two options here. And remember, this is using the graphical user interface. So what you can do, it's somewhat limited compared to if you're doing this configuring using uh, the batch. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to allow guest access. And what this means is that anyone who doesn't have an account inside my system should be able to view or access the files over the network but they won't be able to make any changes or create new files. If you want other users to um, make changes to your files or create new files, then you have to click on allow others uh, to create and delete files and folders. But for this, I'm going to only allow guest access and then finally create share. So now notice how I have this small icon uh, at the bottom of the documents folder, which means that this folder is now being shared over the network. So how do I access this over the network? I'm going to head over to another virtual machine that I have set up here. Let me go ahead and log in. Okay, so now I want to open the file application and then I want to go into other locations. And notice that my other computer is showing up here. It's advertising of, uh, on the network that it has uh, files and directory uh, shares. So I want to click on this box here. And I'm going to do SMB, which is the Samba protocol, and then column, forward slash, forward slash. And then I'm going to enter the IP address of the other computer. So it's 10.2.4. And then forward slash, and then I'm going to click on connect. All right. So notice that I have the documents uh, directory that I just shared over the network available here. So I'm going to double click on it. And now it's asking me for authentication. So I'm going to log in as anonymous. So I'm going to go ahead and say connect. And it's giving me unable to access location. So this is a problem that you might run into when accessing uh, Samba shares. And this is very simple to fix. I'm going to exit out of this um, virtual machine and I'm going to go back into my Samba share. So I'm going to, again, right click on it, local network share. And I want to click on allow others to create and delete files and folders. So I'm going to check mark this one and modify share, okay? Add the permissions automatically. All right, but that's not everything. We need to give a uh, user, per user, we need to set a user password in Samba in order for those users to authenticate over the network. So I'm going to go ahead and open the terminal. You can do Ctrl Alt and it's going to open the terminal. Ctrl Shift to maximize so you guys can see it better. And let me go ahead and do Ctrl F. So basically what I need to do now, I need to set a password for a user in the Samba uh, service. So I'm going to say sudo, 
SMB password, and I'm going to use my same username. Actually, it's option A and then the username. And I'm going to press enter. I'm going to enter my pseudo password. And now it's going to ask me to set a password for that user. All right, so password has been reset. Now what I want to do, I want to restart Samba. So I'm going to do sudo system CTL restart Samba. All right, service not found. So let's try SMBD. All right, so this time we were able to reset the service. So the changes take effect. Now let's go ahead to the other virtual machine. And let's go ahead and try to access 10.2.2.4 just to make sure in case that you're not sure what the IP address of your server is. So do an IPA. And here where it says INET 10.2.2.4, that's the IP address. I'm going to hit connect and now double click and now I'm going to use register user. I'm going to enter my username and the password that I just set. And I'm going to go ahead and click connect and notice and that I'm able now to access the files inside that directory over the network. And so that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy uh, the video and learn how simple it is to share files and folders over the network using Ubuntu Linux. Uh, again, remember to subscribe, give it a like, and uh, see you in the next video.